A deadly mass shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida has once again put military-style weapons back in the spotlight. The gunman used an AR-15 semi-automatic style weapon, the civilian version of the M-16. It was first used for military purposes in the late 1950s. You see this AR-15, she's hot and she's mean. But by the 1960s, it was converted for civilian use. The highly deadly military-inspired rifle has been the weapon used in several mass shootings, including ones in Las Vegas, Sandy Hook Elementary School, San Bernardino, and a movie theater in Aurora, Colorado. AR-15 style weapons are lightweight, generally less than 10 pounds, accurate, and can hold high capacity ammunition magazines, usually 30 rounds. Users can easily customize the guns, and it's become ubiquitous as the go-to weapon in film and on TV. The AR-15 is a legal firearm, but its possession is heavily restricted in several states. Obtaining one, though, can be as easy as filling out a form and going through a background check. In Florida, there is no waiting period between purchasing a rifle like an AR-15 and receiving it, and there are no limits on magazine capacity. AR-15-style weapons were outlawed in 1994 under the Federal Assault Weapons Ban. But this is a lay-down no-brainer, and the Congress must not walk away from it. The bill was challenged several times in court for violating the Second Amendment, and it expired in 2004. A failed 2015 bill that would have banned some semi-automatic guns did not classify the AR-15 as an assault weapon. After the incident in Parkland, Florida, there have been increased calls for gun control legislation to prevent further mass shootings. But it remains unclear if any action will be taken. <laughs>